In Zimbabwe, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga has vowed that elections will go ahead despite Saturday's bomb attack. He's offered state security for all presidential candidates. The explosion took place at a political rally for the ruling ZANU-PF party held in the White City Stadium in Bulawayo. State television says 42 people were injured. CGTN's Farai Mwakatuya has more. The retired general who escaped with minor injuries after Saturday's blast says it won't put off Paul's set for July 30th. He was addressing a rally in Chitungwiza near Harare less than 24 hours after the attack here in Wulawayo. He also said the police would hunt down the perpetrators of what he's described as an act of terror. Investigations into the incident are ongoing with forensic experts gathering evidence from the site. No arrests have been made yet, but police has offered a substantial reward for information that will assist its investigations. State security will also be provided to all presidential candidates. A record 23 aspirants will contest for the country's top office, the highest number since independence. All political parties in the country will sign a peace pledge on Tuesday, committing to a nonviolent election. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe.